back to the travel vlogs. Today we are in Chiang Rai. We left Chiang Mai this morning, well, at about one o'clock, was it? It was a three hour bus from one till four. It's currently, I don't know, five, something like that. We've been sat at the hotel for about an hour. We're gonna go for a walk around before it gets dark, get some food. So I'll show you around a little bit tonight, but I'll be showing you around properly tomorrow because we're gonna go exploring around the town. But hi, welcome, let's get going. Okay, so this is our hotel. It's called Tourist Inn room restaurant bakery so there's a bakery downstairs but this is what it looks like it's quite cute from the outside the bedroom is not luxury i will say that but it's 16 euros a night plus breakfast including breakfast so you can tell it's quite a cheap hotel by like it just looks a bit old but if it's clean which it is and affordable and Internet we get breakfast freaking amazing Internet is amazing jeremy's like buzzing about it. Do you want to say what it is for anyone who will understand? Oh, it's more than 200 uh, megabyte per of the bit, so. I just know that we've been getting about 30 is good. So yeah. 200 is insane. Most places we've been having in hotel was like between two and five. Yeah. So. so Jeremy's loving that. We don't need to find any cafes to work in. He can work from home, which is nice. We'll be able to sit downstairs in the kind of cafe restaurant area. I'll be able to watch a Super Bowl today. Oh yeah. <laughs> at six in the morning tomorrow Without morning being like <laughs> yeah um anyway so we're now walking in chang rai um it's annoying right chang mai chang yeah rai. i keep getting confused corners are sound right yeah so we're walking in chang rai so i'll show you around a little bit like i said but we'll be walking around properly tomorrow tonight's just going to be a quick walk around before it gets dark and get some food but, but we're both a bit tired actually aren't we so we might have a bit of a chilled evening so it might not be out too late as well. But just outside our hotel, like literally however far I've just walked now, a minute up the road, not even, is this beautiful temple. We'll come back here another day, hopefully when it's open. But that looks gorgeous with the sunset. So this is our first look into Chiang Rai. It's quite quiet and a bit sleepy. Now obviously we'll see a bit more tomorrow with it being a Monday tomorrow because it's Sunday today. So I don't know if it's quiet on the weekends, but it seems quite cute so far so the road that we're walking down is like the tourist street we've just walked past some bars with interesting people in there let's say there's bars in front of us and cannabis things but we're walking towards the clock tower i think it was called that i wanted to show you but this is what i mean about the bars so <laughs> and the cannabis as well but there's the clock tower in front you can see that big gold sculpture thing looks I lovely Okay, I didn't bring my camera out, so I'll have to come another time and get some photos of this, but it's beautiful. All the wires as well, yeah. <laughs> Running here. There's a rooftop bar up there. <laughs> That's lovely. So here's the clock tower I was just showing you. And then look at this street here. That's gorgeous. It's, I don't know if that's for Christmas. Is that just always like that with the lights? It's middle of February, yeah middle of February I know but it's fancy wow so obviously because we've just arrived we don't really know where we're going but I always enjoy that the first day so I think tomorrow we're going to do this the first day I love just walking around and like even they have no idea where we're going or like where things are it's nice to just kind of get a feel for the city and figure out where things are basically but we're just walking down one of the main roads not entirely sure where we're going but so we're just walking past this road with all the lanterns. We walked past it earlier from the bus stop, but it looks super cute. So we're just walking past this place, it's called Golden Triangle Palace. And Golden Triangle is basically an area north of here where Laos, Thailand and Myanmar, also known as Burma, all join together. So this is called Golden Triangle Palace. We might actually go there for a day trip, I'm not sure yet, but I think it could be interesting. But I thought I'd show you that, it's cool. So we're just walking past this little temple thing there's also some purple trees or purple lights on trees and then i'm not sure if you can hear because of the motorbikes i wait for them to pass but we can hear thousands of birds there's another motorbike there's constant traffic which is hard so we're walking past these guys and the purple trees but can you hear the birds? So 
So last night in Chiang Mai, when we walked back from getting food back to the hotel, we walked through a like botanical gardens almost full of flowers and lights and things. And then there's one here that we've just stumbled across. I didn't vlog the one yesterday, but yeah, I just thought I would show you quickly this place. It's beautiful. So that's the entrance and there's these purple trees. This big watering can with flowers shooting out of it. More purple trees, purple lights. These just mounds of flowers, so beautiful. There's some sculptures like statues of people and flowers. There's Jeremy in the sunset as well. It's like pink, orange sky. Look at these dresses. Is this one made out of tulips? And I guess these are real. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Oh my goodness, there's this one as well. Made out of roses. My goodness. That's gorgeous. And then there's this area here, so we think it was on this weekend. But there's a stage there and all this seating. And then there's like a chariot thing made out of lights and a horse. It's so pretty. Look at the sky up there as well, it's pink. Wow. Okay, anyway, I wanted to show you this. This walkway full of flowers either side, it's gorgeous. And then at the back of the park here is a water feature, the water fountain, and they've got this smoke stuff as well, which is cool. And the purple lights. It smells insane here. I wish you could smell this. There's just all these flowers here. It smells so good. So I don't know if this is showing up properly, but there's these purple trees, the sunset behind, there's a water feature with the smoke things and then more purple trees. So this is actually the main entrance, which we've just seen. It's so pretty. You can hear all the birds as well, hopefully. And the sky as well, you can see the sky over there. Insane. So I've done a bit of a loop, but the clock is down there. And then basically straight up here is some food stands. So I think we might get some food here tonight. It's very quiet and very calm. There's not many people, not many shops are open, but it is also Sunday night. So yeah, it's definitely different to Chiang Mai. So there were sausages available down there. There's people selling different kind of bowls of food. So you just get what you want. There's some dumplings here. We've got some squid and seafood. There's meats. So I think this is more of like a local people market rather than a buy and eat here kind of market. yellow watermelon which apparently we saw in Vietnam but I don't remember so we might like to try that there's also mangoes for sale not there but just in general that is 40 baht which is just over a euro for one kilo so this is definitely the place where the locals come and get their fish and fruit and veg it's amazing really fresh food so I think we're gonna get some mango for dessert there was also somebody making um, almost like pancakes it was sticky rice with sesame and sugar on top and they wrapped it up into like a little um yeah like a crepe like a pancake and then we saw someone doing that and the woman was like you could try some it's really nice i think it was like 13 baht for one so i'm gonna definitely get some of those for dessert as well i'm such a dessert person but anyway jerry's walking up there so i'm gonna have to go and find him but it's a really cool place there's less food to eat right now it's more like things that you would take home and cook at home oh he's coming back um but yeah, excited to try those desserts, here he is. So this is what I was talking about, the dessert is black sticky rice and sesame for 13, I think it's 13 baht. So I'm gonna film that so you can see. So it's like a pancake basically, that's just warming up. So I'm gonna have dessert for starters basically. 
<laughs> and she also sells other cakes and donut things and popcorn and other yummy goodies, yummy goodies even. Nice. <laughs> okay, so this is it. She said to peel down the leaf so that we can try it. Oh, a bit too far, maybe. That's good. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Now to try this, Jeremy. So this is the view just from across the street, so you can see the kind of setup with the vendors and things a little bit clearer. So there's people selling different things. Okay, so I forgot to vlog when we got these, but we got a mango for dessert. We got some dumplings in here and then we got a sausage each and some mm. rice so we're going to eat these with our with our cutlery that we have and we're going to watch the apprentice thank you so much for watching today's video i was going to continue on with the next vlog of the next day but actually that was quite a long video so i'm going to chop it off here so it's a little bit of a shorter video today but i really hope you enjoyed seeing us arriving in Chiang Rai and having a quick walk round and also enjoying the market but stay tuned for the rest of the travel vlogs in Chiang Rai we go back to Chiang Mai we then go to Soritani and Koh Lanta and Bangkok and then Australia we're now in Sri Lanka so there's loads of travel vlogs still to come so please do subscribe if you are new and I hope to see you very soon bye